Hi guys, I thought I'd just hop on and let you know that um, on the website I have just listed some Mother's Day um, planner kits. So if you're looking, planner stickers, so if you're looking for something for um, marking Mother's Day in your planners, then um, yeah, this kit might be for you. It's all pretty with lots of flowers and stuff. So yeah, the usual website, mrsbrimbles.co.uk and it's the newest stuff in the shop or you can just search for Mother's Day. Um, it'll be there. Hey guys, um, sometimes people ask me like where I get my inspiration from, from various different things. So as you guys know, um, probably know that like we homeschool. So we just sat here doing some bits and bobs and... My beautiful daughter has been passing me some of her special treasures from her little treasure box. Haven't you? You can talk. You have. And so she's given me a few different treasures. But these ones just kind of stick out in, in like my my head. Like the colours aren't really doing great justice here. But like there's a beautiful navy blue and a pink and a lime and a dark purple and a grey. And they were just suddenly all sat next to each other. And I thought, oh my goodness, that would just be a really beautiful that's a bit better. A really beautiful colourway for a collection, like a for for a brimble's box and a sticker club and all that kind of stuff so yeah when people often ask me like where do you get your inspiration from sometimes it's serendipitous things Mama. like this Mama. yeah oh hang on a minute so yeah they, this is kind of like one of the ways in which i kind of get my inspiration for different kits and things so i love this color colorway i'm going to take a photo of it in fact i'm probably going to keep these separate um and refer to them and i'm going to take a photo of them and one month in the future this color scheme will make its way into um, one of my product collections for sure because it's beautiful is that a beautiful collection yeah i don't like the i love the red flower you prefer this red flower yeah. i know you like that red flower but i think the gray flower just goes with this color scheme <laughs> yeah <laughs> she's like nodding her head so there just a little 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 insight into how i get some of my inspiration sometimes even more beads out and looking at different color combinations and coming up with ones that we like the best so i really like this color combination the lilac the teal the pink and the orange and we made another combination with like these different pinks so yeah lots of fun being had yeah. now you're on your keyboard why are you standing on your keyboard I'm making me use yeah, but why are you standing on your keyboard <laughs> um so yeah that's how inspiration happens spontaneously um oh and how i sometimes come up with different color combinations for kits and things Mommy. something simple like Mommy. Mommy. bud can you do you hang out with your eyes why am i gonna get more treasures yeah. on them I need your eyes closed. I got my eyes closed. All these flowers mm. are for flower day. Beautiful, aren't they? I can't they? see your eyes open. So today is Thursday and it is production day. Um, so yeah, John has been super busy and is still super busy. He's printing and he's cutting and he's packing up the March Brimbles boxes. Um, 
which is really exciting. Has made me up my own box. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> yeah, these made me up my own box so that I can do an unboxing. So I'm just going to film that um, really quickly now. So as you guys know, Thursdays, they are normally my worky days, but um, I, <coughs> excuse me, we had a long weekend away. Um, Friday evening, we went away because it was my birthday on the Monday and yeah, John took a day off work and we're just a little bit behind with bits because we had a day, um, yeah, we basically had like time off and it was just near the box time. So I'm not really working today. Um, I'm, I'm full-time mum today. Um, and so John is printing, packing, cutting, as I said. He cracks me up because he watches some funny things. <laughs> like, I don't know, he seems to get like lost on YouTube while he has it on in the background while he's doing all of that. Um, I never do any of the printing and cutting because technology and me do not get on. I don't know what it is, but we just do not, we just don't get on. I don't know why. Um... <sighs> Yeah, so he's doing that. And he's been watching um, Gordon Ramsay's American Kitchen Nightmare thing, which is really funny. Like, I don't know. Why is he watching that? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm in my rough clothes because we've just been, like, mooching around the house and stuff. So I'm going to film film that. Um, and then I'll probably work tomorrow. But, yeah, John's going to be working certainly all day today. Um, printing, cutting and packing I haven't got any makeup on. Well, I've got a little bit of, like, eyebrow pencil on, but I have no makeup on, so excuse this. I'm 38 now, guys. Woo! Yep, turned 38 on Monday. So, anyway, I'm going to unbox, do my video showing off the March collection and unboxing. Um, if you are into, kind of, like, into, like, the Brimbles stuff and the collections and the box and things and how they've changed... Watch this video because it's going to explain like the sticker subscription and the Brimbles box is changing um, again. <laughs> um, I know sometimes it feels like I'm always changing it, but um, I like to listen to you guys. Like if it's not working for you how it is, then I like to change that. Like for example, like one of the changes without going to like massively into it, one of the changes is people told me that they don't really use the functional stickers, I was noticing that like there was a decline in orders of those and yeah people said that they just don't really use them so they've gone from the sticker subscription and I'm replacing them with something else so I'm going to explain all of that in my video so go check that out if you're interested. So right now John is outside in the garden with Little and might be able to hear them out the window. Um, they're sorting out our veggie patch. It's We've been had unseasonally warm weather and it feels like spring. So it's a pretty good time to unbox this kit because, you know, get ready for this kit because it is all spring themed. <laughs> So my in-laws were round to um, see my daughter and have a play with her. So while they were keeping her entertained, I sat uh, at the breakfast bar and I drew up the illustrations for the April Brimbles box. Um, so yeah, I managed to get quite a bit of um, drawing done while they were having a nice little play date, which is, which is good. So it's four o'clock, armed with sketchbook and a cup of tea. I'm just heading upstairs to do some work. The cut lines or whatever go wrong, something goes wrong with printing. Guess who ends up with the stickers? Yep, little one. <laughs> she always ends up with the oopsie stickers. And um, this is the Hello Spring that you guys have seen quite a lot because um, I showed you the creating this in two weeks ago <laughs> studio vlog so yeah she's creating her own little her own little picture don't know what she's doing but she's doing something my tripod up because i'm gonna be doing um some filming i hope the lights the light stays in um, my favor particularly as it's now getting late and it's actually drizzling outside when i've talked before about being part-time i'm literally like very part-time um uh, yeah I don't 
it depends on what's going on. So like this week, um, so like my hair is just like, I know I've been talking about my hair in recent studio vlogs. It's getting, to, getting long and I really should get it cut. I cut my own little twiddly bits, bangs as they call them in, I guess in America. And I cut them a bit too short, so I'm a bit like, I'm a bit self-conscious of my bangs. Um, and my bangs, <laughs> I'm self-conscious of my bangs and my bags. <laughs> this one's quite bad. Um, yeah, so four o'clock. Um, four o'clock, just getting going with work. John has spent all day today. Um, he started work at half past seven. So he spent from half past seven to four o'clock um making up brimbles boxes and orders i'm very grateful and very blessed that um loads of you well loads some of you like more than a few but not a load <laughs> some of you have liked the hello spring collection and have purchased that from us so big big thank you so john has spent today um printing cutting packing up like the rest of the Brimbles boxes and all the orders and I cannot tell you how grateful we are. Oh, yes, that's a big weight off my shoulders that I've sold something, so that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, so um normally as I say I work Thursdays and Fridays, but it's we had um time off at the beginning of the like the end of the week. I had my parents here for a week which was lovely, and I didn't do any work while they were here. Um, I just literally focused on spending time with them, which was lovely, it was so nice to see them. And then um, and then it was like um, half term, so my daughter, the, after they went, my daughter had a play date with a friend that she doesn't really see because that friend goes to school. And then it was my birthday weekend, so we had a long, had a long weekend off. And so now we're kind of having to like play catch up because of that, but it's all good, it's all good. Um, so yeah, but all those orders are out now, so yeah. I'm gonna, hence the tripod. I film quite a lot in my bedroom. Ignore the curtains, they're like bad. They're not the curtains. Like we, we redecorated our bedroom and we never got round to changing the curtains. And so the curtains do not match the rest of the bedroom. Massive bugbear of mine, but it's quite a big window. And so it'd be really, it's really expensive. We had them priced up and everything. Really expensive to buy curtains and we just can't afford it. So we haven't. <laughs> and so, yeah, but like the bedroom got redecorated three years ago. Maybe one day I'll get nice matching curtains, but for now they're a horrible brown and I hate them, so. There you go, behind the scenes stuff. Talking about behind the scenes, I'm, you may have heard of the lady called Joanne Hawker, maybe you haven't. She does um, um, like an Instagram prompt in March called March Meet the Maker. I took part in it last year and I'm gonna take part again in it, take part in it again this year. Um, so basically she divides, divides like 30, how many, how many days in March? I can't remember if it's 30 or 31 now. 30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31. Yeah, so 31 to prompts. Um, all about you as a business, like you and your business. So, um, yeah, it's kind of like some of the behind the scenes stuff. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, Mrs. Brimbles, go and follow me over on Instagram. I'll also post it in the Mrs. Brimbles Happy Place Facebook group. And so, yeah, there's 35, 31 different prompts and um, it just gets you to kind of like know a bit more about me, know a bit more about the business and the things that go on behind the scenes. So that's cool. So yeah, the behind the scenes stuff, I pretty much, when I'm doing like face to face, I've got glitter there, face to face kind of videos, I tend to film quite a lot in my bedroom because it has a fairly nice backdrop, my bed. And it's probably like one of the, tidiest rooms in the house because it doesn't really get that much use <laughs> one of the tidiest cleanest like when I suppose it's not actually downstairs is pretty tidy but if my little one's around then she's usually playing downstairs so I have to come upstairs to make videos and also because I've got this big window it does give me quite a lot of natural light which is good um, and luckily I waxed the whole the moustache and the and the goatee the other day so the light isn't picking up any of those whiskers so always good you have to kind of like 
think of these things when you're putting oneself out there on the YouTube. So, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna film my Patreon chatty vlog. Um, I'm gonna do that. And what else am I going to film? Oh, I'm going to film um, a video about homeschooling because I've had a few questions about that. And also on my other Instagram channel, uh, Instagram account, which is the Whimsical Cloud, um, I sort of talk about homeschool quite a lot. So I thought I would do a video on that. And then if I get chance, energy, time, throat hasn't gone. I have just completed today a sketchbook, so I thought I would film a sketchbook flip video for YouTube for you guys, for you to see. So every month on Patreon, I do a chatty vlog, and that sort of kind of like talks people, like I chat about if there's any new supplies I've got, or I show people like art that I've been working on, that kind of thing, and just, just random chit chat. And it varies from like half an hour to an hour, it's usually around the 45 minutes mark because I do like to talk a lot. Um, these are my birthday presents, things I got for my birthday. And I'm going to show those um, in my vlog because uh, there's a few things I'm kind of like really into at the moment. And they are kind of influencing my artwork and the direction in which my artwork is going and all that kind of stuff. So that's those there. I'm going to gonna talk about those so it's evening time i i ran out of um daylight really for my videos as i said i talk a lot so the chatty vlog um ended up being 45 minutes as i knew it would be um and then i recorded another video after that which is half an hour long and then it was like tea time really so we had some tea john's just been doing the um, getting the little one to bed kind of thing and I'm editing videos and oh, doing a bit of work. I'm sat here like, I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm not going to work all night. It's Friday night. I'm tired and so I'm not going to work all night. I'm going to do a bit. Need to get the plus trusty planners. I say planners. I'm having some issues currently. Um, so this has always like been my, you know, planner. But then I was given the two Erin Condrons, the hard bound and the spiral bound. And I really want to use them because they're beautiful. And I'm sort of struggling to use them because there's just so much space in them, like so much white space. Um, you know, my life isn't that complicated. And I really want to use them because they're beautiful, but I'm kind of struggling a little bit. So... I'm kind of sort of using two planners at the moment. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna edit some videos and get them up ski, like schedule them, that kind of thing. I made these, I'll show you, I'll show you these. I made these, these are like little, I'd run out of, um, we'd run out of cards, um, go in orders when people order something from my shop. So I made these, I decided to make them black and white so that saves a little bit on ink because it does get a bit crazy. And I think most people just end up throwing these away. Um, I don't know, but I thought I'd be really cute to put like a cluster of some of my illustrations on there so that if people wanted to cut them out and use them as die cuts or something, that'd be really cool. And then they can like color them in themselves. So just basically just says thank you for your order with my social media details on. But so something quite simple, but... Um, yeah, I made those. You never need just like at the end of the day. End of the day, end of the week, and I'm a bit like, I don't know, frazzled. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a bit of editing and then, not for long though, and then I'm gonna go and chill out. Hey guys, this is Sunday afternoon, Anna. Just quickly popping in to tell you that I am an idiot. Total face palm moment, okay? So, huh, huh, this morning, Sunday, I decided to sort through my phone and delete some old videos because I don't do it very often and my phone can quite quickly get chugged up with... Um, a load of video and a lot of them I don't need to keep like like Instagram stories and all that kind of stuff 
and I was transferring some of our own like family videos off my phone onto the computer because I do that once a month so that we can put like a compilation together of um, the family month. And so I was deleting out my phone and I was like, don't need that delete, don't need that delete, don't need that delete. Didn't think anything of it. I then came back to do um, a little bit of video on Sunday afternoon, <laughs> Sunday, on the vlog and um, iMovie popped up and told me that some of the videos were missing. Though I had deleted Saturday morning's footage. What a plonker. Um, and no, they're not available in my trash can because I emptied that too. So yes, I am a proper, complete and utter plonker. Um, I cannot remember either what I talked about or what I filmed because I've been to bed since then. <laughs> Um, I know I got up about 8 o'clock and started work yesterday. Um, I know I did lots of editing and lots of filming and all that kind of stuff. And I think I showed you some of all of that. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, so anyway, this is just me popping in to tell you that I'm an idiot. And, um, Saturday will now resume. But if the rest of Saturday's video does not make sense, it's because the videos are missing. But I decided to leave it all in together because you might still get some enjoyment out of my ramblings and my crazy idiocy. So enjoy the rest of the vlog. Hey guys, it's 12 o'clock. Um, this is me, I've now had a wash, although my makeup's kind of story of my life. I'm a face toucher and I'm always smudging my makeup. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been working flat out. I have had a shower. I had a shower about half an hour ago. Thought I'd better, you know, spruce oneself up. Um, I've been busy working this morning. I have edited loads of videos and do you know what? I always find editing video and doing the thumb and like doing thumbnails always takes me far longer than I think it's going to do. Like, like a 15 minute video can sometimes take half an hour or an hour to, to edit. It's crazy. Um, particularly if you're like doing, you know, you're cutting bits out, like the drying process and you're um, doing voiceovering and you're speeding it up, slowing it down, all that kind of stuff. It just, I don't know, it always seems to take so much longer than you think it's gonna take. <laughs> I've been busy, busy, busy editing, editing, editing. I've been editing um, videos for YouTube, so I've got a whole month's worth of YouTube content um, coming out over the, well, I say a whole month, um, one video a week because I save some room for, wriggle, wriggle, wiggle room. <laughs> I save room for, for like, um, weekly studio vlogs and then if anything like pops up and also um like towards the end of the month I'll do the collection unboxing um I'm trying to work trying to make sure that I do like one video a week at least on my YouTube channel so that it doesn't die a death because I find that if you don't regularly post you um don't go up like the search listings I I don't know um I don't know what YouTube does, but it kind of like makes you go further down the suggested. So I'll try and do like one a week. Um, and I know I used to do like two to three a week, but it's kind of like juggling all the things. Um, one week is, one a week is definitely doable. Um, and, but I aim for two <laughs> and some weeks there's two and some weeks there's one. Um, but it's, it's all good, you know, so I've, I've, I've done all of those videos and I've edited three videos for um, the course that I keep talking about, the course that's coming out hopefully soon. I need to film a ton more videos for that and obviously with that comes more editing and photography and writing it all up and all of that kind of stuff so it's quite time consuming um, but I'm trying to like, I'm trying not to um, take my foot off the gas because I really want to get this out because I've worked so hard on it so far and I really want to like finish it off and get that released. Um, so yeah, I've been working on that. Um, I'm gonna, it's such a juggle because like it's the weekend and I love, I love my job and I love the fact that we can work flexibly. And you know, I love the fact that I did take sort of nearly two weeks off with my parents coming and my birthday and everything. Um, but you see, I have this like, thing now where I haven't basically worked for two weeks and 
it's the weekend and so John's looking after the little one and I'm jealous I want to spend some time with them <laughs> I want to spend some time with them but I also need to work because if I don't work we don't earn money and if we don't earn money if I don't earn money I can't pay the bills and I can't buy food and all that kind of stuff so it's such a it's such a like it's such a bind do you know what I mean um right now John's downstairs cooking dinner and little one is just watching a bit of telly while I work um but I kind of want to spend time with them so what I thought is I do is I'll work until lunch John's cooking dinner I'll work until dinner and then I'm gonna have like a lunch hour definitely gonna do that and we're gonna go out in the garden and I'm gonna get some daylight and some fresh air and we're gonna play and all that kind of stuff and then I'll come back and work and I'll and I'll work for the rest of the day I may even work all of Sunday as well as I said, I've had like two weeks off, so I can't grumble. I can't grumble at all. It's just that I've spent I've spent all week with little one, um, but I haven't really spent much time with John. So it's you know, or we haven't really spent any haven't spent any time like together as a family. So it's always a juggle, juggle, juggle. But um, but then but then the totally the plus side of that is that we can be flexible and you know we can take um take time off when we want to and that kind of stuff. So. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I want it all. <laughs> I want it all. But, yeah. So, that's what I've been doing. Um, Fueled by tea. I'm not going to spit it on myself this time. Fueled by yet another tea. I just went and got a cup of, t cup of tea. So, I'm going to glug that down in a moment once that's cooled enough. I have been using that Erin Condren planner this morning, the hardbound one. I've been using the monthly spread. I love the monthly spread in this thing. It's beautiful and big and awesome and amazing. Um, I've been plotting out some, like, my content and all that kind of stuff. And I know, so I'll show you all. So here we are. Um, I'm doing the um, March Meet the Maker um, Instagram challenge. It's a hashtag, hashtag March Meet the Maker. And so I've um, plot, I've written down all of the prompts um, all for for the month. Um, that is a really good thing for me because I'm not, I don't have a like a, a marketing plan. I don't have a social media plan or a social media like campaign. I'm a wing it, I'm a fly by the seat of my pants kind of girl. Sometimes, like some days there'll be lots to say and I want to put out like five photos. And other days there's nothing. And I, I, I guess like I don't, you know, I don't perhaps run a business, like a business. Um, and I really should get a better grip on that. So I'm trying, I'm trying to get a better grip on that. So the, doing like this March Meet, Meet the Maker Challenge is quite good for me because it means that... Um, I can post a photo every single day or at least try and post a photo every single day um that is the plan um so I'm also so I've been using these um Erin Condren pens that you probably saw in one of my other videos these are really pretty I'm really enjoying using those um and so I've done myself like a little key and so my YouTube videos my Patreon videos blog posts which the blog posts are really like my design team because um, anything like YouTube just goes on um, my blog anyway. So the green is like more like separate um, design team stuff. Sneak peeks. I need to be better at scheduling in um, sneak peeks for the Brimbles boxes and things. Um, and book club. This um, is um, on my Patreon. We run a book. I run a book club. Um, and... So there's discussion points and I need to like plot those in so that I don't like black them out all at once as well. And then I've got March Meet the Maker and I've kind of run out of colours. <laughs> so I might actually change blog, blog to just being like nothing um, because there won't be so many of them. And green because green for like my own social media posts because I need to start thinking about that. I need to start thinking about, I don't know like curating a feed a bit better and like sharing photos of my spreads and um almost like sticker spreads and all that kind of stuff that's all stuff that I'm not very good at um it doesn't come naturally to me and yeah I'm not so good at so I need to start kind of plotting plotting things out plotting the month out and actually coming up with some sort of marketing campaign so 
Can you see that? These, 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 these are tickets for Cam's Planicon. I can't believe that's going to be next month, guys. Next month, can you believe it? I've still got lots to do for that. Um, and you'll probably see some of that coming up in future weeks vlogs. But if you want to come along, um, there's still tickets available. It'd be lovely to see you. Um, it's on the 20th of April in St. Neots in Cambridgeshire. It's right next to the train station. So, um, and the train is only um, 45 minutes from London, King's Cross. So it's really easy to get to. And it would just be awesome to see you. We've got three workshops. And it's just going to be a load of fun. So, yeah, check that out. I just thought I'd share that because the tickets are just there um, and all that jazz. People um, ask me why I stay quite closely cropped in my videos. Um, this is something that people have asked me quite a lot. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you the utter truth right now. That is because um, everything is a shit tip. <laughs> I don't have a Pinterest or Instagram worthy workspace at all. It is like a boring, worky workspace. I am a messy pig. I I guess because I'm like work, 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 work. I'm not very good at the thinking work, 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 then tidy up after myself. I don't do that. I am a messy pig. I tidy up the rest of my house, but like my working space, not not good. And I also share the office computery space. I also share with John as well because he works from home um, and obviously he has like confidential stuff pertaining to his um, work for the company that he works for so that is why um, and my art space bad 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 so that is why I stay quite closely cropped guys because I'm ashamed <laughs> I'm ashamed to share it but I'm not ashamed enough to tidy it um, you know I'm like the choice is like do I spend time tidying or do I spend time with my family so I always choose a certain time in my family option. But it's getting to a point where I do need to have a really good sort out in the spare room because it is a disaster zone. <sighs> I'm pooped. I'm also shiny. Probably can't see it that well, but I was <laughs> I've also got painty hands. You can see it better on my hands. That shininess, I did. I did a load of splatters with some shiny, shiny paint. And I was deep, 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 flap, like flicking, flicking, flicking. And all of a sudden I was like, Phew. and I realized I'd got it like all over my face. I could feel like, I could feel it on my face. So I was like, well done, Anna, well done. Normally people talk about having a green thumb, well, I've got an orange thumb. Um, oh, pooped. I feel exhausted now, <laughs> it's five o'clock, and I took an hour for lunch. <sighs> and I started work at quarter to eight, and I feel tired now. I've got lots done. Um, I can't even get my words out now, I just feel so tired. Um, started work in between um, video, recording video editing i started work on the collection but um i'm i'm quite tired and i really 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 sh so i'm giving up work i'm giving up work for the day um sitting on my bed because i've got my phone on charge next to my bed and I could quite easily just kind of like sit here. <laughs> I feel very slumped. Um, also got a bit of backache from being hunched over a desk all day. Needed to go and do some stretches. Um, yeah. So I'm like, I really should work tomorrow, but I'm toying with the idea of having a day off <laughs> and just spending some time with my fam. Although I spent all week with my daughter I haven't really spent much time with John and I feel like doing that more and so I might next week I might just work a bit in the evenings to kind of catch up a bit because I feel like I could do with some time with him it's so difficult because I have just had loads of time off so I'm like uh, I think there's this constant 
I think a lot of working people, working mothers, feel the juggle, the struggle, the struggle, juggle, struggle. It's so difficult because we have such a flexible life. Um, but then sometimes I feel like I'm always working and then, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. Um, yeah, love what I do, but, you know, when I'm working, I... Um, missing spending time with my people and when I'm spending time with my people I feel guilty that I should be working so it's finding that like balance with myself so yeah anyway I'm gonna sign this vlog off and say bye bye and obviously if I work tomorrow and vlog you'll know and if not this is the end of the vlog <laughs> so guys thanks for watching half past nine of a Sunday I've been rocking and rolling since seven so um all's good all's good I um, it's raining today which kind of fueled my decision to work a bit if I'm honest um it's difficult my heart yesterday was saying don't work spend time with the family but my brain is like you need to work because if you don't work you don't earn money so yeah, um, my daughter, oh, she could wake up quite early some days, um, and so just thought we'll just get up. Do you know what I mean? Just I'll just get up and crack on with work. So that is what I've been doing, and yeah, got myself a cup of tea. Um, so I feel like it's time. This is the first cup of tea in the morning, even though I've been up late. In my new Harry Potter mug, which I got for my birthday, it says if you don't get my Harry Potter references then there is something seriously wrong with you <laughs> love it nice caramel tea um I'm just gonna raid some stock because today's prompt for March meet the maker is flat lay so I'm just gonna go and find some products and take that photo because I want a bit of a Bit of a screen break because I've been working on the April collection and yeah, just want a bit of a want a bit of a bit of a screen break. So yeah, it's quite difficult to know what to kind of put in. I've got pens, I've got stickers, um, sticky notes. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Decisions. More there's list pads. Um, I've got like things from other brands and companies as well. Project life cards. Sequins. What to put in? What to put in the flat lay? Do I put in my favourites or do I collate a collection? Oh, the conundrum. It's actually quite difficult sometimes taking photos. <laughs> like if you want them to, you know be just so but yes let me think just sat back down at my desk my office computer desk and realized I didn't show you what I chose for my flat lay duh but if you're interested you can go to my Instagram Mrs Brimbles and find it over there in the end I was like I was struggling I was genuinely struggling like did I like to choose a theme or a color theme or like my favorite products in the end I decided to just go on the system and find someone's order and do a flat lay of an order done <laughs> So 
so I'm in at my art desk. I'm going to turn on my lights because I just like having a little bit more light when I'm working. Da -da! So I finished working on the sticker illustrate, like coloured all the illustrations in and edited them and made the first sticker sheet. And I finished that and I can smell some gorgeous roast dinner smells coming from downstairs. So dinner is really soon. Um, I'm gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna carry on working after lunch. I'll see how I feel. It's tipping it down with rain outside. So it's not as if we've got like too much going on, you know? Um, but I wanted to just do a little bit of painting because I want to, I want to use what I'm gonna paint in this collection. I'm trying to find some paper. I'm like desperately low on paper. Oh, that, aha. Uh -huh. Problem is, like, there's loads of things that I have done that have bled through, or like the here, the um, colour has spilled over onto the page. So I'm just trying. I was just trying to find a page that was um, blank. I might have to use the reverse side. Um, doesn't. It depends on the paper you use. It isn't always ideal because. Um, some paper, depending on the paper, as I said, has a right and a wrong side um, for particularly like watercolour paper. So it's not always ideal to use, ideal to use the reverse side. Um, I don't know if you can see it here. This is a Dela Rowley mixed media paper. So this is the correct side, the sort of the textured side. And this side isn't. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but for what I'm going to be doing, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to quickly whip up a little... A little something something um a year. Just heard the dinner gong go, so <laughs> not really. They shouted up to me. I haven't long had a bath, and now I'm all painty again. <laughs> oh well, the life of a working artist, hey. Um, not sure if they were exactly how I wanted them to go. Not sure. We'll see how they are when they dried, and see if I can do anything with them in Photoshop. But yeah, splattering makes me happy. The kit is all about be happy. So I thought I'd do something that makes me happy, which is splattering. Um, and also in the colors that make me happy. But yeah, we'll see. Um, splattering is not a, a tidy thing though. So that's why my desk looks like it does. Well guys, it's like one o'clock and John cooked the most amazing, amazing roast dinner and I'm now feeling kind of like oh, slumpy. Um, so I'm gonna end the vlog here and end vlog working. That's it. I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna call that a day for work and um, pick it up again next week because I'm feeling tired now and I want to spend some time with my peeps. So I'm gonna sign out. I hope you had a lovely weekend and yeah, catch you soon. Bye guys.